Hmm, this team of ancient cookies looks incomplete. Oh yes, that's much better. I guess I'm the very first person to collect all five of the ancient cookies. You most definitely have a billion questions going through your head right now, so as long as a short attention span doesn't get the best of you, I'll answer all of them. Welcome to episode one of my White Lily series. Today, we're gonna go over why I decided to start this series. Next, we're gonna talk about why White Lily skills invisible, why the heck there's a latte magic candy right there, and then all of a sudden, the next battle, she becomes a healer for no reason and her magic candy is different wait what after all that i'm gonna show you how to unlock white lily the method i use will knock your socks off while i talk about this i'll show you how far a full team of ancients can go in dark mode all right let's fight the first boss so let's talk about why i decided to start the series my upload schedule absolutely sucks most of the other cookie run youtubers upload every day but i only upload once every two weeks i can't spend hours on a single video anymore it's just not good so that's why i'm starting a series okay next question what's up with white lily's Skill. Well, her skill's invisible because the developers haven't finished her code yet. It's only visible inside the tutorial, and that's it. Now it's time to discuss my White Lily's capabilities. You see, the reason why she's an ancient cookie is because she's super unique. Since her intended skill is inaccessible, she steals other cookies' skills. You know, cause she's evil. If she wants to be a damage healer, she can copy latte skill. If she wants to be a healer, she can copy parfaits. Finally, if she wants to be useless, she can copy ginger brave. You may be wondering why only these three cookies? Well, let's say she tries to mimic Golden Cheese's skill. Let's see what happens. Oh boy. You're all in for a nice surprise. It looks like the game glitched out. Oh jeez, what's happening? Oh no, what is this? That didn't end well, so doing this kind of stuff makes the game unplayable. That's the reason why she's only able to mimic lattes, parfaits, and ginger brave skills. However, being able to do three different things is really OP, so that's why she's an ancient. It's about time I tell you how to actually unlock her. But first, we need to go back all the way to the beginning. So this person named Groiny taught me how to unlock White Lily. After that, I decided to use her in a video. By the way, this was six months ago. Then this person in my Discord told me that they want to know how to do it. Mostly because in that old video, I never gave a proper tutorial. So today's a day where I give the instructions. Step 1. Open the game. Pretty simple, right? Step 2. Remove all your toppings from your latte cookie. Step 3. Remove everyone from your hall of encounter. This step is really, really important. Step 4. Max out all your attack 1 labs. They all have to be level 10. Step 5. You gotta go into your inventory, look at your roll cake wood, and only delete 3 of them. Not 2, not 4, but 3. Exactly 3. Step 6. Reach Grandmaster every single season. Step 7. Beat 1830 Dark Mode as a free-to-play. If at any point in your entire life you spent a single cent on the game, you failed. Now you unlocked a White Lily gotcha. Pretty simple. Alright, let's do a gotcha pull and let's see what happens. Are you kidding me? Devil Cookie Soul Cores? This gotcha banner is a scam. Okay, let's do another pull and maybe I'll get White Lily this time. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna get at least an epic cookie. Ooh, there's a few glitches. Oh dear. Alright, what's it gonna be? Oh, yes, an ancient! I am one step closer to the truth. Yes, I finally got her! Wait, why is the camera going to the golden cheese section? Wait, stop, stop! Oh, never mind, it's not Golden Cheese, it's White Lily, so I didn't get scammed. And that, my friends, is how you unlock White Lily. Okay, let's move on. It's time to use White Lily Cookie in battle. We're gonna see how far a full team of Ancients can go in dark mode, starting with the Episode 2 boss, and we're skipping to Episode 16. Fighting easy bosses for content is kinda lame. Instead, let's attack this metal robot thingy. I'm gonna use White Lily in her DPS form so I can instantly kill everything. Also, Golden Cheese does more damage than White Lily, but we don't talk about that. All right, here comes the boss. Oh, well, there goes half the boss's HP. This boss is just a complete joke now, I guess. I bet 1630 is also a joke. Yep, it is. I'm gonna skip this one too. Now we're talking, let's fight this worm in dark mode. I finally found a worthy opponent. Let's go.
Oh, shoot, my holly berry died. Oh, this isn't looking too good. Dang it, my darker cow died. It's gonna be a really close fight. Oh, okay, I barely won. White Lily definitely carried that battle, not Golden Cheese. The next battle is gonna be five Ancients versus Golden Cheese, I guess. I'm only using one healer, so uh-oh. My Hollyberry died and the boss is still at 12 million HP, so that's not a good sign. As expected, my team consists of Holly Flop, Flop Cacao, Flop Cheese, Flop Enchantress, and Pure Flop. Now you know how far 5 Ancients can go. You know what? I still want to beat this level. Instead of using cookies like Flop Cacao, I want to beat up the boss with things like Crimson Coral. I'll also turn my White Lily into a healer. Hey, if you see anyone who asked for a guide for a 1730, send them this team. It's actually really good. Triple healer. Alright. Let's go beat up Golden Cheese. Hold on a second, I think using golden cheese as the only DPS was a big mistake. I already beat this level before and I don't want to sit here all day, so I got the perfect solution. I can instantly kill golden cheese through the power of editing. I just gotta add an explosion. Hey, I killed her. The next time you play CRK, try this trick and see if it works, alright? Anyways, the next level I want to do is 1820. The only level I haven't 3 star. Wait, oh shoot. I have no idea how I beat this level the first time. And for some reason, I'm not able to beat it a second time. I think I used like a rare scroll, squid ink, and pure vanilla the first time around, but I don't know what happened actually, I forgot. And then when I try hard with like clotted cream and parfait and snapdragon, I still lose. That's a problem for future me. I'm just gonna at mid defeat and move on. Alright, it's time for the final level. So the thing is, if you're free to play, you have to use this exact team to win. Rockstar is also mandatory so you can do enough damage, but I should be able to get away with using White Lily, right? Right? Yeah, I should be fine. I guess this was a bad idea. If you want to see how I actually beat the level, someday I'll make a video about it. I've been playing world exploration this whole time in this episode, so I want to do a little arena experiment. What happens if I take the golden cheese standard comp, add white lily into it, but the team on the left side has a healer white lily, while the team on the right side has a DPS white lily. Oh, this is gonna be real interesting. It looks like the healer version of White Lily won. Hey, if you want to see more illegal cookie videos, make sure to subscribe. Also, subscribe because I'm 4. Alright, see ya.